For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. Recently, I released a video on the greatest archaeological discoveries pertaining to ancient history for 2022. But in this one, I want to share with you what I think are the greatest historical discoveries pertaining to ancient history for 2022. A historical discovery would be something scholars have found after examining an ancient artifact or document. This includes scientific testing. So these kinds of discoveries can often happen sometime after something is dug up, maybe even years or decades or centuries later. As I'm a historian and not an archaeologist, these kinds of discoveries are more up my alley, so to speak. So I'm excited to share them with you now. Here are what I think are the top 20 historical discoveries of this past year. Number 20, God of Palmyra identified. In the ancient Syrian city of Palmyra, an anonymous god has puzzled archaeologists and historians for a hundred years. Several inscriptions have been found exalting the deity. But in 2022, we had a breakthrough regarding the identity of this deity. An archaeologist discovered around 2,500 inscriptions in Aramaic on various architectural elements in Palmyra. 200 texts dating from the 2nd and 3rd centuries contain phrases such as, He whose name is blessed forever, Lord of the universe, and merciful. These phrases were similar to those used in 1st millennium BCE temples in ancient Mesopotamia to give thanks to various deities, including Marduk, Bel, Nabu, Hadad, and Nergal. These findings suggest that the anonymous god of Palmyra was actually not one god, but multiple deities, indicating a polytheistic religious tradition in Palmyra. Number 19, function of Bronze Age European daggers determined. Copper alloy daggers, widespread in Bronze Age Europe, have long been a mystery for archaeologists. Many believed they were ceremonial objects used in funerals to show the status of the deceased. Others thought they may have been weapons or tools. But a new method, developed by an international team, allowed the extraction of organic residues from ten such daggers found in Pragato, a Bronze Age site in Italy. The study revealed that the daggers were used to process animal carcasses, including the slaughtering of livestock and butchering. This novel method enables the analysis of a wide variety of copper alloy tools and weapons from anywhere in the world. Number 18, Maya tooth sealant determined. Did you know the Maya were interested in showing off gemstones on their teeth? But how did they get them to stick on? A recent study suggests they may have used plant-based adhesives to fix the gemstones to their teeth. From the analysis of eight teeth found in burial sites across the Maya world, researchers found 150 organic molecules common in plant resins. Statistical analysis revealed the sealants could be separated into four groups based on their location, suggesting local practitioners each had their own recipes. Most samples included ingredients found in pine trees, which other research suggests can fight bacteria that causes tooth decay. And two teeth showed evidence of sclerulide, a compound with antibacterial and antifungal properties. Oils from mint plants were also used as adhesives. Number 17, quarry for baths of Herod discovered. Herod the Great, the king of Judea in the first century BCE, was known for his luxurious tastes, including his famous calcite alabaster bathtubs. Previously, we believed Herod imported his baths from Egypt, but in 2022, this was shown to be wrong. A calcite alabaster quarry in the Teumim cave in Israel was found to be the source of these royal artifacts. Researchers used four analytical methods to determine the origin of the artifacts and found that the calcite alabaster from Israel could be distinguished from that of Egypt. The discovery confirms that the calcite alabaster industry in Judea in the first century BCE was developed enough to serve the luxurious standards of King Herod. Number 16, History of Curia Pompeia established. The Curia Pompeia was an important meeting place for Roman senators during the Roman Republic. It was believed to be built during the time of the famous Roman general Pompey the Great. But a recent study has found that the site was constructed in multiple phases. This was determined through the use of archaeometry, a scientific discipline that uses physical and chemical analysis techniques on archaeological materials. Archaeometry tells us about the stages of a construction of a building 
and was successfully applied to study the place here where Julius Caesar was buried. The study analyzed samples of mortar from the site and found that it was constructed in three distinct phases during the time of Pompeii in 55 BCE, under Augustus Caesar around 19 BCE, and in the early medieval period. Number 15, Pompeii genome sequenced. No relation to Pompeii the Great. Have you wondered what the unfortunate victims of the Mount Vesuvius eruption at Pompeii looked like? Were they fit, or did they suffer from diseases like us? Well, the remains of a man and a woman were found in the House of the Craftsmen in Pompeii in 1914. For the first time, though, scientists have now been able to sequence the genome of a victim. While DNA was extracted from both the man and the woman, the scientists were only able to sequence the man's entire genome. The genome revealed that the man, aged 35 to 40, had dark hair, brown eyes, and a genetic predisposition for baldness. He had been infected with several parasites, including tapeworm. It also showed that he may have had tuberculosis before his death. The genome provided valuable insight into the lives of Romans, and it shows remarkable similarity with modern Italians. Number 14, new light on the origins of domestic chickens. Yes, chicken and rice may have been inseparable since the early days of human civilization. Yeah, that's right. Two new studies have offered insights into the domestication of chickens and their spread across the world. The studies suggest that the birds were domesticated in Southeast Asia around 3,500 years ago in rice fields and were transported westward not as food, but as exotic or revered creatures. Chickens did not arrive in central China, South Asia, or Mesopotamia until 3,000 years ago. Chickens and rice cultivation then spread across Asia and Africa in tandem, with people possibly viewing chickens as sacred creatures. Chickens only arrived in northwest Africa between 1,100 and 800 years ago, and in Mediterranean Europe no earlier than 2,800 years ago. Number 13, mystery of Roman lopsided dice solved. People have been rolling dice for thousands of years, and the Romans were particularly fond of dice games. The Romans believed the gods influenced the outcome of the dice roll. But Roman dice were often asymmetrical and biased towards the numbers 1 and 6. Why? Was it for cheating? Well, in a recent study, researchers enlisted psychology students to place pips on reproductions of blank Roman dice and found that most students placed the one and six pips on the largest opposing surfaces of the lopsided dice, just as the Romans did. This suggests that both groups involuntarily chose this configuration rather than making a conscious effort to cheat and stack the odds in their favor. Number 12, Lost City of Natunia Found. The city of Natunia, believed to be in the modern-day Kurdistan region of Iraq, was known only through its coins, but no one knew where it was. An archaeological site in Iraqi Kurdistan, which was excavated between 2009 and 2022, has now been identified as Natunia. A 2,000-year-old fortress called Rabana Merkuli is located there in the Zagros Mountains and is nearly two and a half miles long, with two smaller settlements and a religious complex. The fortress was on the border of Adiabene, a minor kingdom that paid tribute to the Parthian Empire around 2,000 years ago. Within the fortress, entrance wall reliefs depict life-size carvings of an anonymous ruler. Researchers believe that this unknown ruler could be the direct descendant of Natunisar, the ruler of Natunia. This is not certain, but it seems to be a strong possibility. Number 11, ancient Chinese bronze recipe determined. Bronze is made from copper and tin, right? A 2,300-year-old text from China, the Kao Gongji, talks about two elusive ingredients, Jin and Shi, for making bronze. The recipes, which were part of a larger text called the Rites of Zhou, had confounded researchers for more than a hundred years as they believed the ingredients translated to copper and tin. But in 2022, researchers, after analyzing the chemical composition of ancient Chinese coins, have determined that Jin and Shi are likely pre-mixed metal alloys. One was made of copper, tin, and lead, and the other, copper and lead. The findings suggest bronze making in ancient China relied on mixing alloys rather than pure metals. Number 10, Maya rubber balls made from the dead. Have you wondered what happened to the Maya leaders after their death? 
Well, researchers from Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History found 400 urns containing human ashes, rubber, coal, and plant roots while excavating the Tonina Temple Complex in southern Mexico. The urns revealed a startling secret. Ancient Maya rulers' remains were made into rubber balls used in the ritual game of Pelota. The urns, found in a crypt beneath the Sun Temple, were believed to have been used to manufacture rubber balls for the game. Inscriptions on the three scoring hoops at the site suggest that three ancient dignitaries were taken to the Cave of the Dead, where they underwent a 260-day process of transmutation before their remains were used to make the balls. Number 9. Tomb of Wen of Han Found Systematic excavations and investigations on a mausoleum located at Zhongtun village in the ancient city of Xi'an was discovered in 2006, but new research done there has traced the tomb to that of Emperor Wen, also known as Lu Heng, who reigned between 180 and 157 BCE during the Western Han Dynasty. Emperor Wen of Han was an important figure in Chinese history. His reign, along with that of his son, Emperor Jing, is remembered as a time of peace and prosperity. Thanks to this discovery, we now know where all 11 Western Han emperors are buried in the area. Number eight, mass migration into Britain discovered. Have you wondered, how did Celts like Boudicca come to live and rule in Britain? What was their effect on British culture and food habits? We have evidence of a large migration to Britain that took place between 1400 and 870 BCE and may have contributed to the spread of Celtic languages. A study analyzed DNA from 793 ancient skeletons and found that around half the ancestry of later populations in England and Wales came from these migrants, who introduced new practices, such as the intentional burial of bronze objects as offerings to the gods. The research also revealed that a gene allowing people to digest raw milk increased rapidly in Britain during the Iron Age a thousand years before it did in other parts of northern Europe. Number seven, origin of the Avars discovered. The Avars were a group of warriors who lived in Europe around 1,500 years ago, after the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. They were eventually defeated by Charlemagne in the late 8th century, but their origins were shrouded in mystery. A recent study suggests that Avars likely migrated from Mongolia to Europe and mixed with the local population. DNA analysis of Avar remains showed that the Avar population was large and there were continued migrations from Mongolia over time. Even 200 years after the migrations began, the Avars retained a strong East Asian signature. Number six, root of the Bantus discovered. The Bantu expansion, which saw the spread of Bantu languages throughout sub-Saharan Africa, was believed to have taken place through a corridor in the savanna grasslands 2,500 years ago. Scientists believe Bantus, being an agricultural people, couldn't have survived in the forests of Central Africa. But a new study suggests the Bantu expansion took place about 4,000 years ago, much earlier than previously thought, and in a different direction. The study used linguistic data from more than 400 Bantu and closely related languages to build a language family tree and reconstruct the geographic spread of Bantu speakers. The Bantus migrated through the tropical rainforest of Central Africa. The study reveals that farmers can indeed adapt to rainforests. Number five, origins of maize discovered. A new study has revealed that over half of the ancestry of the ancient Maya civilization can be traced back to migrants who arrived from South America around 5,600 years ago bringing with them new varieties of maize that sustained the Maya culture. The study analyzed remains from two rock shelters in Belize and found that the Maya have inherited more than half of their DNA from this influx of migrants from the south, with the remainder coming from ancient hunter-gatherers and ancestors of people in the Mexican highlands. Analyzing the dental remains of the new migrants, scientists found maize consumption went up from 10% in the ancient hunter-gatherers to 50% in the migrants. This is the earliest evidence of maize being used as a dietary staple. 
number four ancient Iberian tribe found to be Basque ancestors. The Vascones, an Iron Age tribe from northern Spain, have been believed to be the ancestors of modern Basque people and would have spoken a language called Proto-Basque. But for a very long time, we believe the Vascones were illiterate with no writing system. A bronze hand found by archaeologists in Spain known as the Hand of Iruligi challenges this long-held belief. The hand contains the oldest written example of Proto-Basque. Five words inscribed on the hand, written in 40 characters, suggest the Vascones knew how to write. The first word, Sorioneku, is a forerunner of the modern Basque word, Zorioneko, meaning good luck or good omen. The discovery may change how scholars view the Vascones and their use of writing. Number three, continuity of Minoan civilization found. For a long time, we believed that the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete underwent a significant cultural change because of a Mycenaean invasion around 3,500 years ago. The Minoans adopted a new language and economic system, burial customs, dress, and drinking habits from the invading Mycenaeans. But recently, researchers found evidence of significant continuity in everyday practices, including the use of obsidian tools for harvesting crops suggesting that the population had largely remained local and of Minoan descent. The researchers believe that while the Minoan elites were aligned with Mycenaeans, most people continued to live their lives in much the same way as before, leading to a more complex political situation on the island. Number two, lost branch of the Nile discovered near Pyramid. Wouldn't it be easier to build the pyramids if the construction materials, such as limestone and granite blocks, could be transported along a waterway? Researchers have found evidence that a now-defunct arm of the Nile, called the Khufu branch, once flowed near the pyramids of Giza, making it easier for the ancient workers to transport the limestone blocks used in the construction of the Great Pyramid. The researchers used sediment cores, pollen grains, and other clues preserved in the desert soil to reconstruct the history of the Khufu branch of the Nile over the past 8,000 years. The branch dried up completely around 600 BCE. Number one, ancient star map found inside medieval manuscript. Hipparchus, a second century BCE Greek astronomer, is believed to have made the earliest known attempt to chart the entire night sky, at least in Europe but the star catalog of Hipparchus was thought to be hypothetical with no actual evidence of its existence. We only find references to it in the literature. But in 2022, a team of researchers discovered a fragment of Hipparchus' star map concealed beneath the pages of a medieval manuscript. The book Codex Climaci Rescriptus at St. Catherine's Monastery in Egypt was hiding the star catalog. The researchers used multispectral imaging to reveal the coordinates of the stars. So there you have it, the 20 greatest historical discoveries of 2022. But I probably should address a purported historical discovery from this past year that I did not include and you may be wondering about. And that is the supposed discovery of a previously unknown Roman emperor named Sponsian. An academic paper came out in November authenticating a coin depicting Sponsian and it caused quite a stir in the news. However, other specialists are arguing that there are strong indications that the coin is a forgery, so that's why I didn't include it. Anyway, let me know if you liked this list, and if you think I left something important off of it, let me know about that too. If you haven't seen my Greatest Archaeological Discoveries video, I will leave a link to that below so you can check it out. And if you like what this channel is doing and would like to support it, you can do it with a super thanks or more long term at patreon.com slash world of antiquity. Thank you for watching. You might like my little e-booklet, Why Ancient History Matters. It's designed to persuade people that the subject is important, even in the modern world. You might also wish to use it to help spread the word. So feel free to share it with someone you know. It's free for anyone who wants it. I've left the link in the description box below the video for you to grab a copy. Catch you later.